Okay, Moto Camping Solo 101. Here we are, eh? By myself. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know, I feel so alone. I feel so alone. So I just rocked up. This place is called Sharps Crossing or something. Just a little campsite. It's just enough for one. There's a little fire there, which is cool. I found some firewood over there somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna go and grab some of that. But I think I just want to get myself set up so I can put my stuff somewhere, get out of the, the booties and get out of the pants and stuff and get a little bit more comfortable solo camping. Can't believe I'm doing it. <laughs> I want a friend. <laughs> Where are my friends? I have no friends. I'm a loner. <laughs> How good's a beer? Oh my gosh, I'm set up. <laughs> How good's this? <laughs> Look at my little table. I've got a full on little table now. I'm so stoked about that. I've also got this new thing. Check this thing out. So, this is my kettle that you guys already know about. But this thing here, this is called a firebox. Um, and there's just like multiple ways you can burn and cook stuff. So, you can literally like throw like chunks of log in there, light the whole thing so the whole thing's literally on fire and then put a pan on top of it and cook your stuff. Or you can do it the way I'm doing it with like the little burner. These little guys, you can stick that in there as well and I'm just boiling up my water for my, for my noodles here. How good's that? It's pretty good, that's nifty. And it folds down into nothing, guys. How good's this look? Full on moto camping with the moto tent. <laughs> I set that up all by myself. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I watched their video quite a few times to make sure I had it down, you know for today because I'm all by myself. It's actually pretty easy. You just put one side in, peg one side in, and then pull it and it goes, you're good to go. How good's that? Got some wood, wood's in there hanging. Like I reckon I'll get a fire going. Some people left some rubbish in here, might as well burn that up. Maybe anyway, so there we go. I might've just have an early night. That's the beauty about camping is just like, now like today, the sun will go down at around 5.30, I think. And then once it's dark, you just get all sort of cozy and then you're by yourself, so what do you do? Have a nice early night and then wake up when the sun comes up, which is nice and early. Then you have a full day ahead of you the next day. Nice rest time. While that's boiling, I want to go and suss out this water sitch down here. Let's go. So how's it been so far? It's been good. It's, you know, I'm not, I'm not really talking. <laughs> I'm just by myself, just setting up my gear and working everything out. It's fun. It's, um, it's different. It's very different. Usually camping, you know, when you're with people, you're just like, wow, you know, wow, there's so much to do, hanging out, ha ha, laugh, 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 get on the beers. But it's a lot slower going because you got to do everything yourself. Like literally everything. But it's good. It's a little test to see how well you know your gear and how well you can set everything up yourself and all that. The fire? <laughs> I actually haven't started a fire in so long. <laughs> um, I guess we'll see how that goes. I bought lighter fuel stuff, like those little these little jiffy things, whatever they're called, fire burners, fire starters, to give me a bit of a, you know, head start because 
I didn't want to just be stuck trying to light a fire for buddy an hour. So I'll light a fire. I'll give it a crack. See how we go. The wood's a little bit wet. It's been raining on and off all day, but it's nice. I don't, I don't mind it if it rains. I'm, you know, I'm sorted. I'm sorted in the tent. Let's have a look at this water here. That sun's gonna go down so quick. It's already three o'clock. I'm just having lunch now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I even bought a steak with me so I can like fry up a steak. Bought a new pan as well. This pan like has a foldable handle, which I'm really excited to use. I just gotta get this fire going. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this first because I'm really hungry. I'm feeling pretty like, whew. Look at that, what a setup. What a mad little setup. trying to send a message to Romina because she, you know, she wanted me to send her a message when I got here but I've had no, no reception she's like, Tell, make sure you choose a place that has reception for your first one at least it's like, yeah, absolutely SOS <laughs> damn it, I'm sorry Romina so I think I'm going to try to start this fire we just had a nice little downpour so relaxing in the tent having a little bit of lunch and it just started raining which was awesome but now, like, tonight's going to get cold but there's more rain going on, look this, you can see him through the, through the trees. There's this little crossing here. There's more rain on this way. Is it worth it? Is it worth making a fire? Do I just try? What's that? I'm pretty sure my little cooker thing, my little burner, heat the pan up well and I'll be able to cook my steak on it with my asparagus and my mushrooms. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to it so much. I mean, I guess that's the beauty of it, is that you can literally do anything go anywhere. I mean, like, I've traveled by myself, like, you know, I went to, the first time I ever went overseas was to New York for six weeks, and I was by myself. I just wanted to go to New York. I was playing heaps of music, doing heaps of jazz stuff, and so I wanted to hook up with all the jazz cats there, and it was awesome. It was actually so good. But yeah, see, the funny thing is now is that all my stuff's just there. Everything, keys and ignition, all my gear, camera gear, batteries. All I've got is this GoPro here. This is nice, though. Where are we? What is I guess that's the end of the road. Summertime? Far out. Summertime would be awesome here, man. Still no reception. No reception's good. I love no reception. But I just want to send a message, like at least just so she's not freaking out, you know. I'm alive. And I'm just, you know, <laughs> doing things. I'm walking around. I wonder if we'll see any wildlife. I've seen nothing yet. Nothing. A couple of birds, but I don't mind seeing like a wombat or a kangaroo or a koala like we did last time. Well, the twigs are a little bit damp as well. Starting a fire be tricky, guys. I should just give it a crack, eh? Good practice. Good practice for next time. Then I can be like, yeah! <laughs> a little fire when everything was wet. That means I can light a fire anywhere. Alright? I think so. Anyway, alright. I guess I'll pick up some twigs and branches, kindling, and uh, we'll get a fire going. Hopefully. We'll see. Fire. Now to keep it going. <laughs> so that's the other part of it, I guess. I'm happy with it. It's just wood, man. That was, it's literally dry as this stuff. Like, what the heck? That's awesome. Hopefully it wasn't, you know, the guy wasn't keeping it to rebuild his fence. Got about, what, half hour of daylight? Or like, maybe a little bit like less, maybe? Look at my face. Golden vibes. So the fire, the fire is cranking. Might stick the grill over it actually, and maybe cook my steak on that. If worse comes to worse, I can always use my little firebox boy. I'm actually keen to see how that just rolls cooking a steak anyway, because I've got a new pan. I want to use my new pan as well. I have to get the coals going. <laughs> so many decisions, eh? I also get the coals going nice and glowy red, and then just stick the pan on that, cook my steak on the pan from the coals. That'll also work. I'll decide later. See how we go. See if this stays alive. It's looking pretty good there. Little fire starters, eh? Fire starters. Like, as if, as if you wouldn't, as if you wouldn't.
epic, epic, epic. So obviously it's getting pretty dark. The fire just making me look evil as. It worked, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it's just kicking. It's kicking along so nicely. Now, I could have cooked dinner on that if I wanted to, but I decided instead to see if my little fire stove thing would work. And it does. It absolutely does. I'm cooking a nice scotch fillet here, a bit of butter, um, and it's just sizzling away. It might, I don't know. We'll see how it comes out. I don't know if the pan was hot, hot. It felt like it was hot by the butter sizzling, but I'm not sure if it was hot enough for the steak to be all nice and tender, but we'll see. Got some asparagus, got some mushrooms there, probably can't see it really well. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. And, um, like, yeah, how good is this? Just camping vibes, man. This is cool. Camping vibes all by myself. And it's only quarter to six and it's almost damn dark. <laughs> I reckon I'll probably get a bed in like, like an hour and a half, I guess. But I still gotta pump up my mattress and everything. I've got a brand new mattress, which I'm really stoked to test out, you know, give it a crack. Yeah, and then just tuck it in a sleeping bag. I downloaded some, some Netflix because I still got no reception. Romina's gonna kill me because I haven't written to her yet. <laughs> Damn it, I'm just gonna do this and I might even just go for a hike or something in the dark to try to find a little couple of bars just to let her know that I'm okay. You know, she's, she's worried. Yeah, I downloaded a few episodes of the F1, the Netflix series. I just started getting to F1 all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm playing on an Xbox, I freaking love it. Cool guys, all right, I'll uh, cheerio and I'll see you guys in the morning. Fantastic coffee, hey, especially, I feel, I feel like everything that you eat and drink is a thousand times tastier when you're camping, because you work for it, you know. Well, last night was a thing, I survived it, thank goodness. Great to wake up alive. It's just funny, hey, like what your mind does when, when you're by yourself in the dark, in the middle of <laughs> bush. Maybe I shouldn't have so much just gone completely out of reception and with nobody around at all because it's just like you know it would have been nice just having at least reception so i can just call someone if i wanted to or something i just felt really like isolated and like i freaked out a little bit <laughs> I mean, like, it just got creepy i'm not used to it it's my first time but i've done it and it's you know i'm obviously fine right now i'm just waiting for my my brekkie to cook in the little bag but i'm gonna get all that cracking have some brekkie and then i guess just start packing up and amazing on. It's 8 a.m. The sun hasn't even cracked over the horizon yet. It's still yet to come up. And I've got lots of dew all over my tent. So I need that to dry up a little bit. If not, it doesn't matter. I'll just unravel it when I get home. That was cool. Good times. It's relaxing. I'm bloody relaxed. All right, bricky time.
nice to be on the road. It took a little while to um to get packed up. I got a lot of gear. <laughs> got a lot of stuff. The motor camping tent. That's the second time I use it. The first time was with Kinga, which you guys probably saw already. If you haven't, I'll link it at the end of the vid. Last night's dinner was incredible. Just a nice scotch fillet, asparagus, mushrooms with one of those buttery things that come with the meat so you can just sort of stir that in. It was so good. Far out. It was really tender. Whew, it was good. I've started up a new channel. So the new channel consists of basically all that sort of stuff, just moto camping, but no talking, just full on nature sounds with all just, you know, different camera angles and everything, just trying to capture the essence of, um, of moto camping. So if you want to go and check that out, I'll link that at the end of the video as well. And I'll also link it in the description below. I really do appreciate it if you go over there and subscribe and support, and you might, you know, you might just enjoy just having a little froth out to nature sounds. There's a few other channels I watch, which I'll also link in the description. It's the same sort of vibe and it just sort of de-stresses me. After a day, I come home, have dinner, get ready for bed, and I, I put on an episode full on nature sounds, man, and I just fall asleep. I'm, I'm a bad sleeper, but this helps me fall asleep. So I thought I'd do the same and share the love and um, share the experiences with photo camping in nature. It's a beautiful thing, people. I love it. I love it so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next bit. Peace!